some monster did. She tore open some sheets. I don't know where that came from. Uh-oh. We left the hatch half open, but then it closed. So she didn't have a lot of circulation. And she tore up stuff. So her claws are getting pretty sharp. So Paul hopefully can cut it without us rolling her in a towel, which I did with my cat. The pink bit. Make sure you don't get the pink bit. Yes, I, I don't want to do this. That's a big one. Stay. Uh, uh, uh. For that, I think I'll give her some steak. Or should I wait? Yeah, she pulled back on that one. I didn't get the pink. Daddy, she's cutting your nails. She didn't even bark at the people. No. <gasps> you just, oh, look at she's shaking. What do you see on the bed? Uh oh. Exactly. She tore up the bed. Do you see that hole right there? Yep. She needs to be punished. Mm. So guess who's at the window? Someone that tore up our bed and peed on our bed. She's in trouble. No, you don't get to go in. You peed in my bed. Oh, I'm going to pee in her bed. Do you think she'll like that? It wouldn't bother her one bit. <laughs> Do you think? Look at her, how smart she is. So, Roxy! Roxy! <laughs> Roxy, I'm interviewing you. Roxy, sit! So, tell us, how do you feel about your first passage? Good or bad? Huh. One bark for no, two barks for yes. <laughs> So she was on my lap, but then she's now in the corner. She knows we're moving. She's looking everywhere. We're sailing.